This week on The Aviator Show. We're back in the small town of Jersey Shore, and this airport is slowly becoming the paramotor field of dreams. It looks like the drones aren't the only thing getting stuck in cornfields, or any other field for that matter. Arthur and Eloise take their first flight, and August hones in on his drone skills. It's the Farewell family's last few days in town before heading north to New York for more paramotoring adventures. Stay tuned right here on The Aviator Show. So I have uh, two flying sessions on this wing. One was on an Eclipse Atom 80, and it was just uh, a really nice setup. I, for a light pilot, uh, I wish I had something like that when I started. It's absolutely effortless. I then went out later in the day and flew it on my normal setup, which is a Scout with a three blade prop on it. And I was just blown away. Um, the conditions were very strong. The windsock was sticking straight out, I would say 10 miles an hour of wind. Uh, we actually got hit by a gust front too, and it got very turbulent. However, the wing just maintained its composure very well. I came across the field, and I went from flying this way to flying this way in about 10 seconds. So it went from like, all right, to very bad. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Buddy, bring her down. What are those things called again? This is definitely not Florida. We have some ridges to fly around. Um, we're not just constantly looking at swamp and alligators. We actually get to play with some elevation and terrain changes, and there's nothing like that. Swooping down by the trees, uh, foot dragging the river, and um, you know, buzzing the corn. Oh, and, and landing in corn. You can't forget that. That's a good time. Uh, I recommend everyone puts that on their bucket list. Just make sure you do it um, close to the edge of the corn. Try not to land all the way deep into the middle of it because it's not going to be a fun time. Yes, yeah, pre flooding your motor every time you fly. Every time, because every flight is the most important flight. My expectations actually were just to do a lifelong dream. I had no clue on the first ride I was going up. He said, full power, full, keep going, power, 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 full power. I was like, we're doing this. And you know, getting off the ground the first time, it's like, yeah, the brain does still work at the age of 56. So it's such a sensory overload, just like, this is happening, is this happening? It's almost like a divine intervention that this is happening and it works. <laughs> I forgot the question. Uh, Let's do that again. Yeah, taking off is amazing. So you build up with all this training and, and you're doing it and you're literally, I am going to run into the sky and this is 
happening? Oh my God. And it is the most incredible sensation I have ever felt in my entire life. I'm hooked for life. What was your biggest struggle throughout the past? Kiting, it's still my biggest struggle. <laughs> it's, it's not, I am going to kite every single day of my life. When I first obsessed over this thing, I was like, I'm gonna fly. And then I realized, it, it, I'm like, guy, this is paragliding. All you're doing is adding thrust to it. But the way I would explain it is we are at the mercy of the wind. And yesterday I kind of had this sensation. I was like, I'm just a little butterfly up here floating around. But then you can add this thrust and this power and it's not an airplane, but it's just this amazing sensation um, of flight. Very intimate way to fly. Not only researching the videos and watching them more and more and more, of course, Tucker does a very good job at representing Aviator. And I, I knew then that I needed this robust training and I wanted to seek out the best that there is and I'm right here with it. You're still a little bit twisted and I need you to turn like this. Train with Aviator. Do their program. They have two beautiful places in Florida. These guys are amazing. I am so happy I signed up for this. Go to the website, see when their classes are and book it. Do you want to watch it? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Can I watch some of my videos? Later that evening, August gets to interview the one and only Tucker Gott. Lights, camera, action. Who are you? My name is Tucker Gott. I'm a paramotor pilot. That seems easy. It's easy enough. Have you wanted to stop a one wheel yet? I haven't. I've tried a one wheel and I'm not that good at it. So I kind of. I'm real good at flying. Do you like donuts? I'm, I'm. I can't say I'm a fan of donuts. Well, then, what do you like eating up in the air? Up in the air? McDonald's and Chick fil A. That's the go to meal while you're flying. I saw that video. <laughs> that was a classic. Are you a professional drone pilot? I am not a professional drone pilot. I, I've flown a drone. I'm not that good at it though. I'm really good. <laughs> cut, we're cut. Flashback. Hey, I actually was able to cut that one. This looks like the wrong drone to me. Twist that. Yep. All right, I want you to take off and go 15 feet in the air. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Nice and easy. Maximum flight altitude reached. That's much faster. Wait a second. Coming up on it. Oh, crikey. It's on folds from a paramotor. Gee, golly. You know, the back may be cracked, but uh, that's what happens when your phone falls out of your pocket when you do a barrel roll. I, I, I haven't ever dropped a phone from a paramotor casually in your soybean fields. <laughs> that was fun.
end of flashback. Finally, I believe Eric and the kids are going to leave. We're going to have some space to actually operate out of here. Um, it's going to be it's going to be great. This is where the magic's going to start happening. All right, so last year at the Lycoming County Balloon Fest, we were hosted by some incredible people, Wendy and Justin Weaver. Uh, they're from Alaska, but they live right here in Williamsport, and they invited us to come and share in one of their passions, which I'm really excited about, because Justin loves trials bikes. I've always watched them, I always thought it looked really cool, but I've never even considered it. We're gonna go watch some cool dirt bikes, have some fun, and uh, yeah, let's check it out. back out of the field? I might stop up tonight. For sure. We gotta get Wendy up anyway. Wendy's who wants to go. Yeah. Talk to her. <laughs> I, just, I just work. You know, I don't say anything. Later. Another day, another adventure. Pennsylvania to New York today. Hopefully flying in the morning up near Albany. It's gonna be fun. See you guys. Next week on the Aviator Show. The bus is back on the road and heading north. Our first stop is a fun fly in Albany, New York, where we meet up with Merrill and the gang. Eric learns how to fly long range FPV and Reese gets stuck on his first ever cross country. And he get hurt. Then we head to Massachusetts to film with Johnson Q and Tom. Like and subscribe to the show for more amazing paramotor content. And we'll see you here next week on The Aviator.